Dream slash simulation. What are mass hallucinations? Are we all in a simulation and being manipulated by a much higher intelligent race of beings that are exploiting our naivety and lack of understanding of what mysterious lie beyond our perceptions? Simulation theory, Philip K. Dick, ancient Indian concept of Maya and how they are all related. Could our dreams be reality and we are able to step out of the simulation when our minds and sense of perception are at rest? Very similar to meditation. The only difference is in meditation we are consciously awake and aware we are meditating. When we dream we are asleep and not aware of our state of being. What if sleeping and dreaming we do go to a place like limbo between the simulation and reality? Our bodies act like containers of life traversing across the limits of sense perception. It is as if we are fine-tuning our frequency of self with every moment and action, reaction. Frequency possibly meaning mind stuff and with each thought slash intention slash emotion, a synaptic impulse causing a release of neurochemical substance that creates. The life spark is trapped within the container, body, due to action slash reaction or relaying of information from mind to brain to body and back. Meditation acts as a conduit outside of the container and without the limitations of senses the frequency of the spark is allowed to change or adapt to its source. The life spark can be affected by your thoughts and they can cause harm to oneself. Your thoughts, the food you eat and drink, and other people can be a negative factor in your life. Thoughts need to be regulated not only for the sake of mental, but physical and emotional well-being. Most people overeat or do something that causes dopamine release in the brain. It is a quick fix and a dangerous one. This is where addiction comes in. It can be mental, physical, and emotional pain that causes one to search for a release and because the drug dopamine is produced basically by anything that causes you some sort of pleasure, it can be anything. This is where we should be taught the difference between good dopamine and bad dopamine. One will have no side effects and you will not need anything but the natural air you breathe. It is as if everything we ever needed to be happy was already here and someone or something had that knowledge but wanted to enslave a race of beings and capitalize off of their ignorance. Thank you for watching our video and if you truly enjoyed it, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications of our latest content. The truth is out there.